Hi folks, so we are at the desk day. We are going to use this little device here, which is the Scottish Paranormal Spirit Box app, the ITC Research app, that we've used with great success over the last five, six, seven years that we have been conducting research using such ITC devices. And uh, this one's out on iOS now. This one's available on Android. So everybody wants to use it. It was used successfully on Spook Scotland. It was used on Spooked Island with Evelyn Hollow when we had those fantastic results that showed no confirmation bias was coming through. So it'd be good to show you the settings that I use, see how you want to use it so that you can go and do your own research and get your own results. Don't listen to people who tell you what works for me or people who tell you it doesn't work, people online. You try it for yourself and find out and we'll bust some myths about how this actually works. Okay, so here we have the Scottish Paranormal ITC Research app. Basically what's happening here is we have a app with four sound banks. Each one of these sound banks have phonemes inside them, not full words. Each phoneme is usually around about 150 milliseconds up to 350 millisecond audio clips. Um, it's not enough to have full words in there and this is why we get so excited when we get sayings, phrases and words coming through that's relevant to our research at the time. But we are looking for the coherence, we're looking for intelligence coming through. This application does not record where you are. It's not got a geolocate on there so it doesn't know where you are on the map on the planet so it's not picking out something from somewhere and feeding that back to you based on your location number two it does not talk to the internet basically it's not connecting to the internet it can be used where there is no wi-fi signal or no signal whatsoever it doesn't have to use the internet in any way it does not use any ai whatsoever. So it's not using any AI or algorithm to um, give you words. It's not listening to you. It doesn't use your microphone to listen to you. Um, so it's not picking out your words and then spitting them back out to you either. So I have to be clear on this. This engine in this app is a random sound generator. I got my evidence through other applications such as Echovox. Um, I was um, convinced that the results I had were really good, but I still had a little bit of doubt there. And the doubt being is what if some of these applications do have words embedded and I don't want to be deluding myself or having research that is not accurate. So I asked for the sound banks to be made by myself and to have a full input to see exactly how the system works. And I made those sound banks um, in a specific way that no words could slip through. One, two, three, four sound banks here. They're activated by the little buttons at the side. So basically what's happening here is you turn on your sound banks with these buttons. Now, depending on the version you've got, because we have different versions under test. This one's under test just now and you'll see there is a speed slider and you could see this um, appearing on your iOS device in the future when the upgrades start rolling through from our developer. But um, concentrate on the four sound banks, sound bank A, B, C and D and the limiters to how much comes through you speed them up and slow them down. And I will give you a demonstration in a second of that. If you do have a speed slider, you can see where mine's is. You can slide this and be in control of how quickly that audio comes out and hits you because at times it can be overwhelming. Remember, this is a noisy process to be doing this, but the results can be amazing. And it's probably best just to run these types of experiments for five, 10, 15 minutes at a time, recording your sessions, always, always recording your sessions and then um, listening back to see what you have because you will miss things live as you listen to them. So the first thing you want to do, you open up your app, you've got your app on. You can preset, you can see where mine's are, but you can preset 
exactly where you want them to go or they'll all be over here and you can slide them to where you want to go. When you first turn them on, if they are set over to the left here, it will be extremely quick and you'll be like, whoa. So you could put them over if you like. Turn on your banks. <laughs> So we hear hello come in. Use use your speed bank. So hello. So you can use these to, for example. Or you could do this. You can turn off some bands. If you want it random, or you can have them all on. So that is the basic way to use it. It is so simple to, to use this device. Um, extremely simple. The part where it's going to get more difficult is when you're recording and analysing what you're doing. So um, you really want to be trying to record your session. Now, there will be updates to this application with a record function in the future where you'll be able to record your sessions and playback and put this out to testers and be getting feedback. And there's a few things that we want to include in there. It's been sent out to, for example, Chris Fleming, who had a listen and he's made a few suggestions and how improvements could be made on that to his many many years worth of experience doing ITC. Pair Labs in America um, measured consciousness using random number generators. All we're doing is we're trying to capture um, consciousness without a body um, that could be there to use a random sound generator by giving them a voice box. If you watched the Spooked Island episode at Charleville Castle, myself and um, Evelyn Hollow, parapsychologist, decided to run a session. Evelyn rightly said, okay, confirmation bias, let's make sure we are not um, basically taking part in any type of confirmation bias and get actual results. She wrote down four words that she wanted to see coming through, but she did not let me see them. She didn't let Chris McMillan, who was on camera, or Shailis, who was a producer and with us at the time, see those words either. She kept them for herself. She'd done that for a specific reason. And um, we got all four words. Now, she didn't shout out when she heard the words. She asked us, what did we hear? And we were calling out what we were hearing, and we got the words in there. And I think Evelyn will tell you herself, she was blown away. We are paranormal investigators and researchers. We experiment with everything we can to try and gain results and we'll always do that and we don't discount anything until we've used and tried it over and over again. And this works for us and it has been displayed both by myself, on live streams, in videos, on TV. Scottish Paranormal ITC Research app. It's available on Android and iOS and uh, let me know how you get on.